Hey guys, welcome to Surf and Show. I'm Noel Salas, and today is an introduction to my first twin fin set design. This is gonna be fun. Sit back, get your favorite drink, enjoy the show. So what sparked the idea of designing my own twin fin set? Well, after a few years of reviewing multiple twin fin board designs and testing over 20 plus twin fin sets, whether it was twin plus trailer, straight twin, no trailer, keel fins, you name it, I started testing to get these boards to give me the kind of performance I was looking for underfoot. Now we gotta remember who I am and where I came from. Born and raised on thrusters, I like to put the board on rail and push and get some drive through my turns, and I like good hold both front side and back side, and I also like to surf a wave top to bottom and try to maximize flow. Now, after all the testing, I started to form opinion, and this is where I ended up. So if you follow the show, you know I'm a huge fan of the Almeric Keels. This fin was a favorite of mine two years in a row. I really like the hold and the drive this fin offers. Because it's got so much fin area, a bit of rake, and this wider tip, it offers excellent hold both front side and back side. Meaning it's not gonna slide out. When I put it on a solid bottom turn, especially back side, it's offering that hold and resistance and so I push harder and that gives me good speed through that turn. Now I remember riding the Fishbeard, really liking the Almeric Keel because it's got more of that performance outline. So I felt like I could surf it top to bottom, have that hold and drive, and really increase speed and good flow. But one of the things that I remember is that when I put in the EN Twin, I had more pivot. And the board felt looser, so it felt a bit more responsive. And my thoughts were, man, I really like the drive and the hold of the keels, but I like the pivot and the freedom to get up in the lip quicker and be a little bit more creative with the EN. So I called up to the folks at Naked Viking Surf and I said, this is what I'm experiencing with both fins and I'm wondering if we can marry the two together and come up with something new. And they said, hey, we can do that. So after multiple conversations on the phone, talking template and what I like about these fins, they sent me my first prototype. Now, before you guys have a look at my first session on the prototype, I thought it'd be cool if we kind of just compared the outline and the differences between the Almeric Keel, the prototype and the EN. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of match them up right now so you can see it. Right off the bat, you can see that the Almeric Keel has more overall surface area. It's a bigger fin and that's gonna give me more hold. It's also got a bit wider tip, and that wider tip's also gonna give me more hold. And then if we look at the base, they're both pretty wide. So there's gonna be equal drive pushing through my turns. It's gonna offer that resistance. And then if I turn it this way, you can see that the prototype fin's a bit more upright. Remember, I'm looking for more pivot. And because I have a narrower tip on the prototype, it's gonna offer a bit more release and allow me to be a bit more creative on the wave face. So now let's compare the ENs. As I pair these up, looking at it this way right here, you're gonna see that the EN's more upright. So it's definitely gonna pivot faster than the prototypes. But I turn it this way, you're gonna see more fin area back here on the prototype and a wider base. That's gonna give me more hold both front side and back side, allow me to push harder so I'm gonna get more drive with the prototype. And it's also got kind of a wider tip. That wider tip's also gonna offer more hold. So right off the bat, did we give this prototype enough pivot and release? Watch this first set of waves and hear what I have to say about it. Ready to go? Ah, ah, ah. Up, yeah. 
So first day on the fish beard, riding the prototype twin fins. And to be honest with you, I'm thoroughly impressed with how they felt both front side and back side. So for me, the test backside is, is it gonna hold? And I hit some of the turns out there with a lot of speed, able to get it somewhat vertical and really hit a good turn. Now I do wanna make some changes because I feel like there might be a little bit too much hold and I kinda want a little bit release. So the next thing is, do we wanna refine the tip, maybe give it a little more um, cut out in the back here and get them to pivot a little bit better? Cause it's right in between like a keel with good hold and excellent speed. And I feel like it's still pivoting good with a lot of drive, but it feels a tad tight. And I wanna just make it a little bit looser. So excited to make an adjustment and uh, see if we can make them better. Now that you guys saw my first session on the prototypes, I took that same set of waves, my comments on the beach about what I'm feeling underfoot, what I like and my changes, and I sent that video clip over to the folks at Naked Viking Surf and I said, please make me another prototype with these changes. Now what I forgot is this custom five, six and a half from Britt Merrick was made for the Kelly Slater wave pool. And what I didn't know is that he towed the fin boxes in a quarter inch. Now that's going to make a big difference on testing fins compared to a stock fish beard. And we're creating fins for the masses that we all feel the same thing. So it was imperative for me to get another board and start testing on the same fins. Now as Naked Vikings making the second iteration, a new prototype with the changes, I continued to ride the first prototype in this fish beard and then they felt so good, I started putting them in other boards like the El Tamo Fish and to see if they would work in all these different board types. Check out that footage. Now that you guys have seen a few waves on the stock fish beard with the first prototype, it surprised me. It felt great. Board felt like it had good hold both front side and back side. It had good drive. And remember, I'm riding the Spine Tech EPS and it was choppy out there. So if it was going to disengage and not hold, it would have showed in those waves. Now I liked the first prototype feel in the fish beard so much that I thought, let's put it in the El Tamo fish. Now remember, this is set for a quad. So the side fin boxes are gonna be up a bit further and it's gonna be a little bit harder to get this board under control. I put the prototypes in, I could feel a little bit of that control, the board felt a little bit loose, but all in all, the fins felt great. I still had good drive, I had good pivot, and I felt I had good hold both front side and back side. Now after thorough testing on the first prototype, pretty impressed. So much so that I thought, Man, that second prototype, I wonder what they're going to feel like and if the changes are going to be enough for me to feel the difference. So that second prototype came in. This is it here. And what I did was I put a little white pen, paint pen on the back trailing edge here so when I match up the two prototypes, you can see the difference. Now after matching them up, I'm going to hold it up so you guys can see the white line back here. Right off the bat, you can see less fin base less fin area because they trimmed off quite a bit of the trailing edge here. 
Remember, I wanted them to have a little bit more arc in the back here, so it'd make the fin a bit looser. Now they also refine the tip quite a bit, making the tip narrower so I'm getting more release. And when I put this fin in, the board felt a lot more high performance, and I'm getting a bit more creative freedom, meaning getting the tail free and loose. So both front side and back side, I felt like I had the drive, the hold, and now I've got the freedom of high performance surfing top to bottom. Check out some of these waves. Just trying to get them to believe. Hey, cause you want to be the king of the whole world. Boys and on top of the world. Well, you can't see your palms up. Yeah. Problems up there. You've seen a few waves with the second prototype i really believe you can see a bit more performance the board looks fast and loose with lots of drive offering me a bit more creative freedom not just on the stock fish beard but we also ran it in the magudo at 5.0 more of that classic twin fin style and i got to do a nose pick reverse and it just felt like we took the first prototype being a great performance fin and we put the changes and we took it to a high performance vibe. So for me, I could feel it underfoot. I felt like I was pivoting quicker. I felt like I had more creative freedom on the wave face, but I didn't sacrifice the drive in my turns or the hold off my bottom turns backside and front side. I think you guys are gonna be stoked and we're calling this prototype the HP Kills, meaning high performance. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode on my process designing this high performance keel set. I had an absolute blast and I think you guys are going to love them. Now we're offering worldwide shipping, just hit the link below and enjoy. Until next time, we'll see you in the water. Bye bye.